My name is David Ben, and I am the Artistic Director of Magic Hanna. We are pleased to be back at Luminato as both a presenter and a performer of magic. First up is a work inspired by this book, published in 1902, known as The Expert at the Card Table, a book that teaches you how to cheat at cards, and a book which I am sad to report I've been obsessed with for the past 35 years. Fortunately, I'm not the only one who is smitten with the work. In 1992, the renowned British composer Gavin Bryars joined forces with the late Spanish poet and sculptor Juan Munoz, first for BBC Radio, then five years later for Art Angel of London, to create and present a man in a room gambling. Ten pieces for string quartet with live narration drawn from the pages of the book. For Illuminato, we will be revisiting the work with Mr. Briars and presenting the world premiere of Card Table Artifice for two performances at the Jane Mallet Theatre, starting on the luckiest day in the world, at least for magicians, Friday the 13th. With music by Gavin Briars, performed by Toronto's Art of Time Ensemble, and a new narration I am writing, again drawn from the book, but delivered by the great actor R.H. Thompson, there will also be the live performance of card cheating sequences choreographed to the score and narration that are projected on video. The show will be a multi-sensory experience for all concerned. And best of all, Gavin Bryars will be joining us to accompany the Art of Time Ensemble on double bass. And opening the evening will be Rob Zabrecki's Turn on the Dark a comically macabre performance by the Magic Castle's Magician of the Year, former founding member of the band Possum Dixon, and the current star of Pharrell Williams' music video, Happy. Crazy, I know, but that's Luminato. The second show, direct from Scotland's Edinburgh Festival, is Bullet Catch, a play by author, performer, and magician Rob Drummond, where Rob, as the main character William Wonder, but assisted by members of the audience, contemplates the life and death of those who have attempted what many magicians consider the ultimate act of invincibility, catching a bullet. Awarded, among other things, the Total Theatre Award for Innovation, Experimentation and Playing with Form, Bullet Catch has it all. Storytelling, mind reading, levitation, games of chance, and if you're brave enough to stay for it, the most notorious finale in show business. Now, Ordinarily, magic is considered family entertainment. This year, however, I suggest you keep the kids at home. Cheating at cards, even to a most sumptuous musical score, and catching a bullet in your teeth are, shall we say, skills best learned without parental supervision. Remember, the fun starts Friday the 13th in June. See you there.